joined now by our school coach Liam Cronin. Liam, made hard work of it. You were made to work the whole way through the, the 60 odd minutes. Yeah, uh, I suppose in the first half we we did make hard work of it, but I suppose look the other side of it is a hard to cup quarter final, a semi final spot at play, so it was never going to be easy. Uh, to be fair to Simple Moore, uh, for probably 40 45 minutes of the game, they were full value for where they were at, but. Uh, Similar to our, our previous two games, maybe just that little bit of experience and character that we have in this group. Uh, last quarter performance was really strong. You've spoken about that resilience all year. It was there in spades all throughout the game. Things weren't going well for you. Mm. The lads still pulled it through in the end. Yeah, uh, I suppose I'm not quite sure about things not going well. Like a lot of our numbers in the first half were really good. We just didn't make it count on the, on the scoreboard. And again, as I said, a lot of that was probably down to the tenacity of the of the Timpermore defence. But uh, I suppose we're lucky that an awful lot of these guys have played in Crow Park with the school last year, played minor and under 20 in some cases with Limerick and Clare. So we have an awful lot of experience in the group uh, and there's a real uh, desire to, uh, to go as, as far as we can in this competition from within the group. You've booked your spot now in the last four. You know there, there's a lot of good teams left in the competition, but it's it's look, your goal is clear. What you want next is a, is a place in the final. Yeah, and that's exactly what's what's up for grabs. I'm not sure who we're playing between CBC and Cashel. We've played Cashel in the group stages. Really good team. Like only for a last minute goal, uh, it could have been a very different story. Like so. But look, as you said, by the time when you get to after Christmas, after the Cup, there's there's no poor team left in it. Uh, every team is there on its merits, and whoever we get to play in the semi-final stages uh, will be formidable of bonds. You have a lot of versatile players in that team. Is it easier or harder to manage? You know, a player that can play anywhere. Yeah, it's a it's a serious headache in terms of trying to pick a team. In terms of we might have an idea in terms of what our first fifteen looks like, but in terms of positions and that, uh, and because I suppose we are a new management team, and in a lot of cases it's a new group. Um, we're still probably working out where our uh, what place our, our best players in, in the best position, but we have a lot of vers versatility. And you must be very happy today as a score small over the field, even corner back and Mike Gavin midfield, and then Finton and Michael up front. That you do have scores small over the field. Yeah, uh, like I suppose from, from a hurling perspective, we have a lot of very good hurlers. Uh, we're young. Uh, I think we only had three six years starting today, so. Um, but we're probably a very skillful team uh, and I'm not surprised that the likes of a John O'Keefe can get up and get a score from corner back. Mikey Gavin, uh, our six forwards, I thought Michael Collins in the second half when he went to wing forward was, was exceptional but uh, there is that talent all over the team, thankfully.